Hey, Ab Crow Kid here again, and I said I wouldn't do it, but um, I'll make a video showing me vacuuming up uh, all the carpet cleaning powder, the Dyson Zorb. So here it is, and I decided I might as well bust out a Dyson, so here's my DC-15 ball animal. Pretty clean, considering I can't remember the last time I used this. So, turn it on and get going. Okay, you can see that it um, seems to have done a, a pretty good job of getting everything up. Um, I see the little flex here and there, but other than that, it seems to have done a good job. I'll probably take this and shake it outside and then vacuum it with a little bit better vacuum but you can see when I brought it to the other carpet it just skips around and I don't know if it's because I blocked the uh, large intake debris here with tape and now it's um, sticking to the carpet more but yeah I just don't use this machine a lot and you can see inside the bin Everything is kind of piled up on that one side. So, it's a lot of uh, carpet fuzz in there, too. I mean, this is kind of short pile, but um, yeah, I mean, it did a good job. I kind of expected it would, considering this is a pretty short pile. I mean, it's not like I was picking up deeply embedded sand, so I kind of expected it to get everything, but, um, yeah. So there it is. There's how you clean up after your, uh, dry carpet cleaning stuff has dried, and, um, hopefully you get good results. I mean, it, it feels a lot fluffier, and I always like how it feels after you're done, and it smells really good. This Dyson brand, I've tried, I've done, I can't remember if I've done the Duo P from Sebo. I haven't. I've only done the Windhouse version, and it smells pretty good too, but this smells really, really nice. So, anyways, um, there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day.